Yeah, I think it's big. I think to have a Premier League team come here to, to play in this round for the first time for 30 odd years uh, and to play the way we did to show the level of commitment and desire and hunger that you need to win a football match. I thought the players were absolutely outstanding against a, you know, they made a few changes but they weren't, you know, overly weak. Uh, they brought some big players on late in the game and we stood up to that. We got a man sent off, we stood up to that. And every challenge that got put in front of us, the players were ready and all credit to them, I thought they were absolutely incredible tonight. You've led this team to this round for the first time since 1989 and you've now led them to beating a first division side, top tier side, for the first time since 1980. An incredible achievement for the team, but for you as a manager as well, you must be quite proud of that. Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of everyone. I'm proud of the club, the staff. We, we work extremely hard, the staff, to come up with a game plan to, to how we coach that. Myself, Kev and Perks had 15-20 uh, minutes to, to coach that way of playing. We went to a back six for the first time in a long time. I've never done it before. Uh, we watched some clips of Chelsea doing it, in, in 20, uh, not Chelsea, Man United doing it against Chelsea with, with Mourinho for the, you know, to show the players the key concepts and the principles that we wanted them to use. And then we went out and worked on it, like I say, for 20 minutes. And to get those points across, to get that information, it's not easy. Uh, so all credit to the staff for doing that, but then you know, all the credit has to go to the players because they then took that out in this atmosphere under the pressure against the Premier League side and carried it out to the absolute letter out of possession. I still want more in possession, I'm still demanding of the group, I still think we can be better in possession, but out of possession tonight I thought we were outstanding. The first 15-20 minutes of the game, Luton just seemed to be quite comfortable passing it around and they had a couple of chances but it felt like the momentum swung when James Scott had that chance just just wide from about 30 yards out from then on it seemed to give us a bit of confidence to think you know we can actually do this I, th I think when you change formation and like I said you 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 don't have the time you would like to to work on it then you know the players were kind of feeling themselves into the game but I didn't think Luton had any moments in that period where we looked to, to be undone. They didn't have any real chances. Uh, there was half chances maybe, but nothing that I felt really worried us. And uh, from there, I thought we grew into the game and got better and better at it. I think, you know, like I say, all credit to players to to get a group of players that, that you know has never played a back six before and get that understanding and how to go about it. You know, I would expect kind of 10, 15 minutes of of getting that understanding, but. In that time, they, they knew what they were doing, they just didn't have the aggression and the intensity I would have liked, but uh, throughout the whole game, we, we had the, the threat of, of looking under control, and that is a, a big credit to the players. When you say you, you had 15 to 20 minutes working on that with the players, you, I mean, you decided that you'd play that six, was that yesterday you decided that? or? Uh, I decided it on Sunday afternoon uh, when I was watching some games in the house and my, my missus was getting annoyed at me for watching games and the kids uh, were getting annoyed for me not speaking to them uh, and trying to watch clips and, and analyse how Luton play and because they put so many players on the last line, they put five, it makes it very difficult for you, one, to get pressure on the ball but any long ball becomes a real issue. Uh, I spoke to Kevin Perks about it. We, we brought the players in later on Monday, so we had time in the morning as a staff to discuss, uh, to be clear on, on the clips that we show and how we go about it. And that was when we, we looked at the, the Man United clips from, from when Mourinho done it and the principles of how to do it. Uh, and then we worked on it with the players. And you know these players are, are very adaptable now. I think we've done that a few times now. And, and the way they take the information and the way they apply it is, is all credit to them and, and it gets them a huge result. You played that new formation defensively. You changed some personnel as well. Jack Fitzwater coming in, uh, I think, for Pez Sweeney. Was that to give Sweeney the rest? He's played so many minutes, or was there something else behind that? I think we said at the start of the season that, you know, whenever I pick a team, we said to the group that last year I felt like I took too many or too much energy from when we picked a team to, to say to the players why they weren't playing and for what reason. So we decided that when we pick a team, we all believe in it, we go with it. Some, some weeks you'll be disappointed, you're a finisher, you know, other weeks you'll be starting and everyone has to contribute and you've seen the finishers that came on, they were ready again to, to come on and contribute. So uh, we have to make those decisions all the time. After the event we can discuss with players the, the reasons and why, but uh, I thought everyone contributed to this performance tonight, not just the 11 that started, the, the whole team, the squad, the staff, the supporters, it was a real team effort. and. 
uh, all credit to everyone for doing that. First half, you must have been pleased going in with what you saw at the break, but then second half, even more impressive. I'm, I'm sure you were pleased with that as well. Yannick coming on to prove to Masterstroke. Yeah, we always feel when we're going to the big bank, then it gives us a bit more impetus in the game. We started on the front foot second half, we got more corners, we got more territory and played in their half and then uh, started creating opportunities. And you always felt like at that moment we were very much in the game and uh, it was probably going to be one goal to win it or it was going to go to penalties. And uh, luckily Demi came up with a, with a real moment, a fantastic finish. Uh, we managed to see the game out. A mixed night for Demi, of course, scoring the goal that got us here, but disappointing against sent off a bit later on. Yeah, I think his bookings are quite soft. I think there was a lot of tackles throughout the game that, you know, for me, there was fouls that we didn't get and then, and then he gets booked for two soft bookings. So uh, I quite like that he's playing with aggression. I quite like that he's playing uh, to try and win the ball. And unfortunately, when you do that at times, you, you run the risk of getting booked. But I thought overall, both, both bookings were pretty harsh. It's perhaps telling, I think, that tonight we only seem to be at our most vulnerable when we were down to 10 in the last seven minutes when Luton are chasing the game it shows how well we played yeah and even then I don't think they created a real clear-cut chance we, we put bodies on the line uh, we brought Sonny back into midfield to go 5-3-1 and, and try and see the game out we obviously Yannick speed down the side and that's one thing I think we can improve on when we change the personnel from Jamesy to Yannick it's a different profile of player so he, he demands a different type of service and we get the goal from one one free kick down the side, he gets 1v1 across in the box and we score. So, still so much improvement in this team. Uh, but even with the 10 men, there was there was a real kind of attitude of we will not uh, concede tonight and that got us over the line. Injuries are, of course, a part of football, but you must be getting pretty fed up now. It seems like we're losing players all the time. Is, is Caleb OK? I'm not sure uh, what he's done, but... Yeah, it's frustrating. We are, you know, we're not only thin in terms of the numbers we can pick. The players we're playing are not fully ready to play. Obviously, Vinny's coming back, so he has to come off. Uh, Caleb's not played enough games, so it's uh, it's challenging picking the team, but also then having to understand the the finishers and when they need to come on. Fitzy obviously has not played enough football either, and he had to come off uh, as a precaution to to look after him physically. So uh, it's challenging, but. Uh, we, we say no excuses to the players, so there's no excuses for the staff after. We have to find ways to win, and like I said tonight, everyone contributed to that. Saw Ryan Trevitt in a boot this evening. Can you tell us the result of that scan that we were waiting on? Good news, he's ruptured his ligaments, which always sounds like a worry, uh, but Michael tells me that's good news. It's similar to KT's injury he had in, in pre-season, so you know, he's probably going to be a, a couple of weeks, uh, between two and four weeks. So. Uh, that was really good news this afternoon with Michael for me. Uh, and just finally, that draw's made for the next round tomorrow evening. You must be dreaming of, of, of the Man Citys, the Arsenals, the, the Man United. I think we're looking forward to it. It's, it's a you know to see our name in amongst those kind of teams. But uh, I would love to have somebody here. I think this stadium is special. I would love these supporters, all eight thousand of them, to get that opportunity to to see another Premier League team come here. So uh, if I could have my pick, it would be here against another Premier League team of which then, you know, we'll, we'll take whoever. I mean, we, we saw the best of the, the Big Bank and of the Exeter City fans tonight, didn't we? Yeah, they're amazing. Uh, they came with flags, they came with a real uh, attitude and desire. Even when I went up to the Heritage Lounge, the noise and the warm up, it felt different. And they, they helped create a special night and the players, you know, took that on board onto the pitch. And, uh, Hopefully we can get another one now.